Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a little bit more Terra Genesis here with our Random Planet playthrough. We're on episode 15 and we're almost done <clears throat> with our, our planet here. Go ahead and spend another culture point quick because we can do that. You can see the planet now is almost water. I mean it's a lot and lot of water. That's why I build all of my cities on the, the high ground here because then you don't have to worry as much about potentially losing a city when the water does start to fill up. Now, there's a couple of things here I do need to balance. You can see water's still rapidly climbing and we're trying to get temperature up to a reasonable amount as well. If you saw the plant, there's actually a lot of ice on it. So that's kind of why temperature's gotta go back up, but it is going and it's not that far off from the goal. So I think we're gonna be okay, but we need to slow this water down. It is expanding rapidly now. And if we go into water, we could probably make sure, first of all, make sure we've got everything off. And then second of all, build things like ice launchers, which will certainly help to balance that out. So go here, we'll throw an ice launcher up that does mess with the pressure, but I think we can make that work. And then I can actually probably put another ice launcher up See, it's 185. Actually, I could probably do something else. 185, so the ice launcher is 120. That leaves 65 left over. If we do the electrosis plant, that is oxygen. If we do another ice launcher, then I could just turn on some of the other water things to help cancel that out. So I think I'll just go ahead and get both ice launchers built. And I will plan on, that'll be minus 20 pressure. Let's see if we are prepared to handle that. There's a minus 10 pressure here. So if we can build one more of these sequestration plants and we can go ahead and get it right to minus 10, which shouldn't be an issue, then we can turn this one on and be ready to cancel that out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spend my points here all the way up to there because I've been saving up some Genesis points. How many do I have now? 92? Then we'll head to the water and we'll actually rush one of these, I think, eight Genesis points, but it is worth spending to get the water slowed down. Maybe just one of them and we'll let the other one build save the Genesis points. That puts me down to plus 52. Pressure is at minus 18. Oh, wait a second. It's going to be minus 20. I need it to be plus 20. I got to go back and change that. I messed that up. But it's uh, plus 52 now, which is a lot better. We still need to slow it down some. Yeah, so I lied. The pressure, I'm wrong about the pressure. Let's see. This would actually be canceled and disabled. I would disable this one. Okay, you know what? Would that be in the case then? Does it make more sense? No, no, no. I've got a bunch of cloud seeders I could turn on to cancel out the minus 120. Let's just hurry this just so we can make sure we're we're balanced out. At this point, if I leave it for another day or so, we might come back to a flooded planet and it's not worth the risk. I'd rather spend the Genesis points. Okay, so this is going down now and I do want it to go down. It's going down minus 62. Let me check the pressure here. Oh, hold real quick. Check the pressure. Make sure that we're all good on that. So pressure is minus 10. That's perfect. We can definitely cancel that out. I've got a plus 10, I think, here. Nope, these are all sequestration. I have thermal dust. All right, we will enable the thermal dust. And we'll start upgrading it. Um, and this can actually be demolished then. Like so. So the thermal dust here will cancel that out. And then it was 64 water, correct? 60 water now. And that might go down. See, there's a lot fr uh, a lot frozen in ice. You can see there's actually a big flood flooding risk, which is why we need to slow that down. Um, as temperature increases, more and more water is gonna be put into the, uh, into the planet as well. Um, but we do need to get the temperature a little bit closer to our goal. So let's see, plus 60. I'm going to go ahead and turn, or it's minus 60. I'm going to go ahead and turn a couple of these on. 
But I do want the water. Do I want it to go up more? It's going to go up with the increase of temperature. Why don't we just cancel the water out entirely? Or no, no, no. We want the water. I'm sorry. We want the water to go down. So yeah, we actually want to... We want to keep these off. I'm sorry. These should stay off. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this actually... I'll keep... 20 of them on because I don't want the water to drop too rapidly, but now the water is going to start dropping some minus 40. It's already higher than it should be by almost 95,000 centimeters. And we've got a bunch of water frozen in ice. So as the temperature goes up, the extra um, 30 or so um, millikelvins that's got to go up, some of that water will still be dispelled. So this will probably end up canceling itself out, which will be good. So we're going to leave that at that. Um, so we just got to deal with the pressure now. And then oxygen. Minus one a minute, that's fine. It's higher than it needs to be. But um, it does need to go down. And minus one a minute is not a threat to me. So we're just going to leave that as is. So just dealing with the pressure. Which we're doing here. So I did spend a lot more Genesis points than I probably should have. But we'll just go ahead and get this done with. At least up to the last one. So that way I know when I'm leaving the game running later. That the pressure is getting dealt with. And it's I'm not going to come back to a planet with completely messed up pressure again. So last but not least. Well there's two things left to do. One of those is we've got to still get more culture points. We need two more culture points. So we need to get more population dealt with. And we might be able to do that with the moon. Yep, we can upgrade these. It's good. So that should get us pretty close to another culture point. There will only be one away. The next thing is we need to start getting animals and plant life on our planet. And to do that, we're going to want to pick an area where we can start building uh, the facilities to, to house those. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do a tidal enclave here, I think. I've got six spaces available. Um, and I'm not going to really do much with heating. I think, I think I want to build it here. You know what? Maybe I want to build a separate colony for this. It wouldn't hurt to do that and get another hab dome. It is going to increase oxygen and water, but we can float it. Uh, especially because water is going down anyways right now. So I could turn these off. And that would support my new hab dome. And then I just need to deal with oxygen. I think uh, minus 10. Okay, phew, earthquake, but no significant property damage. Um, it's going to be pumping oxygen. So we'll just turn on this O2 filter and I think that'll deal with it. So let's found a new city. That's what we're going to do. 25 million, that's a lot, but we've got plenty of money to do it. Um, definitely by elevation. And yeah, if we can do it here, we're going to do it. So we're going to call this, um, we'll just call it Bio City. That'll be my way to keep track of where we're going to build all the facilities to house the different animals. We'll start off by getting a Hab Dome up. This is perfect because frankly, we could use the extra... Um, population boost. So this is not a bad thing. So I'll let that hab dome build and then we'll go ahead and turn the oxygen off from there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and preemptively activate the minus 10 oxygen in anticipation of the hab dome because oxygen can be lowered anyways. It's already almost 30, uh, almost 20,000 too high. So the minus 11, then it'll kick back to minus one once that hab dome is uh, built. So there's that. So at BioCity, we're going to get the Hab Dome up. And we'll go ahead and start building a Tidal Enclave. And we'll go and build an automated nursery right out the gate. The Hab Dome will unlock plenty of space for more facilities here soon. What else? What else? What else? And then it'll be minus 20 water from the Hab Dome. Or I'm sorry, plus 20 water, as you can see here. And that won't be too bad because that'll put us at minus uh, 37, which uh, this will continue to go down. You can see it's already gone down some as temperature increases. And uh, gets us a little bit closer to the goal anyways, having this drop. So I think everything is set and perfect. We are almost finished, guys. We're almost done. It's going to be great. 
probably hit a million population. Everything is going to be wonderful. So you're going to want to stick around so you can see the conclusion of it. By the next episode, we should be putting plant life and animal life on this planet and making it look nice and pretty. And then we will be set. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>